<gasps> oh my goodness. Hi everyone, I'm going to react to Spy Family, episode 34, The Hand That Connects to the Future. Last episode, Yor finally realized why she's fighting and then she made a counterattack, you know, and everything. But there's, there are still some assassins around. So, yeah, that, that's what happened last episode. I've watched that episode like such a long time ago. Um... And I wasn't even planning on reacting to Spare Family today, but I, I just like watched an episode of that time I got reincarnated as a slime and I was just like crying my eyes out. And usually Spare Family brings my mood back up. So I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Let me watch this <laughs> before I go into the Jusu Kaisen because he uh, dashable. <sighs> okay. So, before we get into this one, if you guys are my reaction, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, and please consider subscribing on Patreon, appreciate.com slash filming, and all the stuff this episode, and here we go. Oh, On the one hand, I, I'm glad that the, 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 um, the, the story of the, like, the mission, you know, yours mission on the boat and everything i'm glad that it's over everybody got out of it safely but then on the other hand i'm like oh, so what's coming next <laughs> i almost wish it lasted longer uh, no the, the title of the episode being um the hand that connects to the future or something yeah and i was like okay whose hands are they talking about and then you see um anya like doing everything possible to help everybody you know like okay you have you're facing the assassins right and then you have lloyd and anya together the the fireworks have just been done she was excited and everything she completely forgot about your until lloyd mentioned it and then she oh uh, no there were these secret police people there and Lord is looking at them like, what are they talking about? He was reading their lips and they like, there are, there are bombs on the ship. I'm like, huh? And he's like, okay. He was debating whether to help them or not. Because at first he was like, the secret police should take care of it. But then in the grand scheme of things, he's like, you know, I, I need to help. But I can't do that with Anya here with me, you know? And Anya being the telepath that she is, she hears all of this. So he's like, I want to go play in the room. Or whatever it happens to be a daycare so that gives the opportunity for Lloyd to go off on by his own and go help disarm the bombs but then you also have Anya wanting to go help Yor you know so I'm looking at her I'm like okay is she the hands that connects to the future because you know she's basically helping Lloyd without them knowing and she's gonna be go helping um go help um Yor as well without her knowing you know so I'm like she the one that's connecting to whatever but that, no, that, that wasn't it it was actually your because she basically connected um her hands you know connected that baby i guess to that baby and the mom and all that to their future i guess so that was really cool and yeah <laughs> she went as she was walking by she hears she was hearing the thoughts of the the, the, the informant or whatever telling basically telling them that telling her where um yard was and how the bomb was gonna blow up the ships the ship was gonna blow up and everything she knew that lloyd was out there helping with the bombs and everything she's like okay i'm gonna go help my mother she goes she finds um yours weapon one of her weapon she's like oh she probably needs this and she was like how am i gonna get up there she didn't find a way to get up there so she's like you know i'm gonna throw it and then she was like rising hope or whatever you know when she was about to throw it i just remember that that episode of when they had the dodgeball and she was about to do her star catching arrow or whatever <laughs> but it isn't like no it's not what she imagined that happened so when she was about to throw rising hope 
or whatever. I'm like, is he gonna get there? Is he gonna get there? But she, you know, she made it through. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, how is you supposed to find this thing? And then she hears these two people, these two assassins, talking about going to kill um, the family. And one of them just like <laughs> slipped on the weapon, ones up shooting the other guy. <laughs> and then they were talking, I'm like, oh my gosh. And then she's there, like, it's all according to plan. I'm like, girl, no. <laughs> That was an accident. That was a fortuitous accident. But, you know, no, it wasn't according to plans. But then you all noticed the weapon. So she used it and she was able to defeat that guy. And then the other one was um, when Yor was about to do her final, about to go to the final attack or whatever. The guy was going to shoot her. But then the director like shot at him. So they were able to defeat that one left. The glasses guy, he left. And the people there, all the assassins there were defeated. And now you go to Lloyd. Lloyd is... Excuse me. He wears this disguise. To, tells them that... Um, he was used to be part of the Navy. And that his specialty is disarming bombs and whatnot. He looks at the bomb. He figured that it was made to look like it came from the West. You know... So that when um, they do some kind of investigation, they will believe, okay, the West attacked this boat and then the war is going to erupt again and whatnot. They disarm the bomb, but then he's like, this bomb is not enough to sink the ship. So there must be other bombs on the ship. So they decided to look for, calm the ship and look for the other bombs and try to disarm them and everything. After Anya, Anya helped Yor. And Yor was like, wait, is somebody else here? And she said, oh, I need to go. And she was, she left, right? And then she was walking and she was past, she walked past the eye guy, eye guy, um, eyeglasses guy. And she hears the eyeglasses guy has this really amazing smelling ability that he can smell stuff. So he smells the bomb inside the clock. They had focused on the clock. I'm like, why are they focusing on the clock? Is the, are, are the bomb supposed to blew up like at 10 o'clock because it was like maybe about 20 minutes to 10 so i'm like wait is, is that why they focused on the clock but no <laughs> there was an actual bomb inside the clock so when she figures that out okay she's like okay i need to tell um lloyd but i can't really tell him because he's gonna know other stuff <laughs> and there was this other person that was also looking for bombs and everything and then she <laughs> made up this excuse but the guy actually went and checked it out because she said that a strange man did something for a booger or something i don't know whatever but the fact that she said a strange man and they're looking for bombs the guy's like you know what let me just go check it out and yes there was a bomb in there and um lloyd wound up coming there and i think there was time was of the ss you know so he took off the clock and he's like oh no i'm about to throw it up out the window meanwhile the um informant was in the little boat down there you know and the eyeglasses guy just like zip through it and like landed in the boat and then they started basically the guy was like you know what there's not enough room for both of us so they were about to fit they were facing each other trying to kill the other each other either way and i'm like when um lloyd was you know running it was about trying to throw the um bomb i'm like please throw it at them and that's exactly what happened <laughs> threw the bomb at them <sighs> but they didn't look like they were they weren't dead <coughs> they were not dead they were in the water and threading water and everything and then there were these um i don't know if it's sharks or whatever kind of fish was swirling around them but they didn't actually die on screen so i'm assuming they're still alive and if they're sharks they're probably gonna die be eaten by the sharks i don't know um so that happened anya made it back to the um daycare and she was asleep when Lloyd came in. And then he was like, I almost I left my family again. He's like, huh? 
my family. No, 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 this is all for me. I'm like, boy, it may have started being a family of convenience for your mission or whatever, but you guys have been developing this familial relationship. They're no longer just for the mission, you know. They care about each other and everything. So I'm like, huh, just forget about your mission. Well, not forget about the mission, but like, I don't know. You guys get what I'm saying? Um, what else? Uh, the family got put into the boat so that they can rendezvous with the other ship, whoever they're going to rendezvous with. Um, but before they left, they gave each other a hug. And yeah. And Yor was feeling emotional about it. And then the director was looking at her like, don't get too emotional. <laughs> we are just, uh, whatever it is, the term that he said. And everything. And then he told her that the um, you Lloyd and Anya wanted to meet up with her and everything. And he's like, as a, as a reward for completing this particular mission, then, um, you know, you go and meet with your family. And I'm like, in a kind of way, he's even though he's told her not to get emotionally attached or whatever, whatever, in... Uh, you know, he still gets it, you know, he still gets that she has been developing this relationship with these two people, you know. I'm like, I don't know. Now, I didn't look at the next episode, what was, whatever's going to happen next. So I'm like, where do we go from here, you know. The, the ship mission on the ship is done. So what else is happening? Are we going to go back to Desmond, the Desmond thing? Because that's... Uh, what did I just do that? Like, looking, I'm looking at the thumbnail or title of the next episode, and the fact that there's like two different titles makes me think that we are going back to sort of like filler stuff. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you like this reaction, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And if you want to see my reaction to the next episode, you can do so by checking out my Patreon at patreon.com slash film me. And you can also see the full life of this reaction there as well. So thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Bye. Wait, Mimi. I'm starting to feel hungry. Is it you starting to feel or you are hungry? No love lost. No love found. It's a little too late to say that you're sorry now. You kick me when I was there.